What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Aiden and today we're gonna go through how Post Malone's Better Now was made on FL Studio. This beat was produced by Frank Dukes and Lewis Bell. And for my Patreon supporters, I will be making the FLP and the stems available to you guys. Let's start off with the introduction. There are two things playing here. Let's discuss the easiest thing first. This is, as far as I can tell, the identical preset. It's this sound from Omnisphere called the Boys Choir Ease, and it sounds like this. For effects, we're adding Fruity Love Filter, Isotope Vinyl, and we're bringing down the year to 1960. Then we're adding RC20 Retro Color, and we're bringing up some wobble, some space, taking the tone right up, and bringing the cut pretty harshly on the low and the high. So it sounds like this without and then with the effects. And like I said, you cannot tell the difference between this and the actual song. Next up, we have the thing that I don't want to explain. We have the guitar. If you don't know this yet, I love Ample Sound guitars, and today we're using the Ample Guitar TC. The preset we're using is the Emotional Progression B, and we're using the Bridge Pickup. Then turn on Double, so it's gonna sound like this without, and then with Double. So if you're wearing headphones, you're gonna hear a really big difference. Next up, we're heading into the Strummer tab, and we're making this little pattern here, and we're playing these chords. The first one is C minor then goes to F major, then A sharp major, D sharp major 7, to D sharp major. The way that this strummer feature works is the notes from C4 to B4 are all targeting certain chords to play, then C5 is like the trigger. Let me show you on the piano. So when I press C4, it's going to select a C minor chord, and then C5 will play that chord. So as I play different notes from C4 to B4, it's selecting different chords to play. It's going to sound like this without any effects. Then for effects, we're adding RC20 Retro Color, and we're using Air Distortion, and we're taking down the tone. Then a little bit of Chorus and Flanges, then some more RC20 Retro Color, and we're using some Tube Pair Distortion as well. Then some EQs, just making sure that the frequencies are 100% correct. Then some Track Spacer to remove the low frequencies when the 808 comes in. This plugin is basically frequency-specific side chaining. So when I play the 808 with the guitar, you'll be able to see that the guitar lower frequencies are being removed, as the 808 is playing. So the blue line there is the 808 playing and the white line is the guitar frequencies being removed. Then after eight bars, we're adding in some percussion. First off, we have this bongo sound, which you can find inside of Omnisphere. It's the clicker pluck and it plays the root notes of the chord progression. Playing with that, we have the identical clap. And you can tell it's identical by comparing it to the waveforms of the original song. Then we have a bunch of different percussion sounds, which will all be available in the FLP. And it plays together like this. And all together. Then we're moving into the chorus. First off, we have the identical kick, which you can see is identical by comparing it to the waveforms of the original song. Moving on from the identical kick, we have the identical 808, and you can see it's identical by comparing the waveforms to the original song. Check it out, it matches perfectly. This is the pattern that the 808 plays.
and in context. Then we have the identical hi-hat. And you can't really tell if a hi-hat is identical by looking at the waveforms, but if you listen to it, it sounds really close. Then if you haven't seen enough identical samples, next up we have the identical snare. This is the Boomin Classic Trap House Snare 1. And you can see it's identical by comparing it to the original song. The clap is still playing in this section, but it's got a lot of reverb on it. So this is what it sounds like. So it sounds like this together. And in the song, the percussion loop is still playing during the chorus as well. And we have this perk coming in as well. So all together. The next thing we have coming in is this synth. And I made this on Repro 5. Then we have one more thing to go through, which is a... Oh, I've been missing these. We have a reverse sample. For this sample, we're using a preset inside of Omnisphere called the Pop Female One Airs. And it plays this chord progression. Then we're putting that in the playlist and going render and replace. Then once you export it, put on some flanges, some chorus, just to make it sound a bit more spacey. So it's gonna sound like this. And all together. Then after that, we're coming into the final chorus. And that's everything I want to go through in today's video. If you like the music playing in the background, you can check that channel in the link in the description. And if you want to get your own music playing on this channel, hit me up on Instagram and I will use your music in the background. Discord link in the description. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Boy.